welcome to Movie Review Mom. If you are a subscriber, welcome back. I'm so glad you returned. And if you are brand new to my channel, yay, you found me. I hope you like what you see. My goal is to give you the heads up on filmmaking quality and content so that you can make the best decision as to whether or not you want to spend time or money or sometimes both watching a specific film. So today, the movie I'm reviewing is called Black Adam. This action anti-hero fantasy movie is now available in theaters. It is rated PG-13. However, before cutting a lot of the gory death scenes, the movie was actually rated R. It is two hours and four minutes long, which is a pretty long movie. My movie review mom grade is a B. Now, there are people who are loving on this movie and hating on this movie. And I found myself somewhere in between. I'll give you an overview in a nutshell. And I'll point out the things that I liked and didn't like, as well as offer tips for parents, because I think kids are definitely going to be interested in watching this movie. And interesting lines, funny lines, and even movies that are somewhat similar that I think that you'll also like if you like this one. All right, so first, in a nutshell, this is what the story is about. Nearly 5,000 years after he was bestowed with the almighty powers of the Egyptian gods and imprisoned just as quickly, Black Adam is freed from his earthly tomb, ready to unleash the unique form of justice on the modern world. This superhero movie is a perfect example of the gigantic chasm between how film critics and audiences experience movies. Critics hate it, giving it a low score of 39% on Rotten Tomatoes, while audiences are loving it and praising it with a 90% score. That being said, everyone agrees that this may point to a new beginning of superhero stories for DC movies. The film was directed by Jaime Colette Serra. I hope I pronounced the name correctly. And the writing team includes Adam, whoo, here comes another tricky word, Adam Seitkill, Rory Haynes, and Sorab Nashirvani. Again, I'm hoping I'm pronouncing these words correctly. Uh, Jaime Colette Serra also directed Dwayne Johnson in the movie Jungle Cruise back in 2021. I highly recommend that movie. It was very cute and really caught the spirit of the Disney ride, the jungle ride, right? At Disney, have you ever been on that? Super cute. Anyway, now I've never read comic books, but I know that fans have huge expectations for their movie adaptations. And so I would love to hear what you think of this movie. Comment down below, especially if you are a comic book fan or a DC fan. Personally, I prefer Marvel movies over DC, but how about you? Comment down below. So here's a list of things that I really liked about this superhero movie. First, I've been a huge fan of Dwayne The Rock Johnson for so many years, and I'm thrilled that he's finally a superhero from comic books. He looked bigger than life in this action flick and did a fantastic job with the material he was given. He also produced the movie, so yay, Dwayne. The great cast includes Aldous Hodge, Pierce Brosnan, Noah Centineo, Sarah Shahi, King Tessa Swindell, Marwan Kansari, and Bodai Sabugi. Oh, I probably slaughtered all of those names. Sorry about that. The humorous moments in the movie are subtle, but always welcome. There are some entertaining one-liners, but this is not, you know, Thor, Love and Thunder hilarity. This is, you know, pretty dramatic movie, but with a little bit of humor speckled in, and that's always welcome. There's almost nonstop action. Some of the CGI is very good and believable. However, it would definitely look better on a big screen if you were seeing this in IMAX or something like that. Keep watching during the rolling credits for another scene with an exciting cameo from a favorite superhero who says, Black Adam, we should talk. <laughs> no spoilers. I don't want to say who it is, but I loved it. So here's a list of some things that I didn't like so much about the movie. First of all, some of the CGI just looked super fake. And that is hard to do to make that CGI consistently look amazing. There is so much exposition in this movie. 
In other words, there are so many scenes where people have to talk to explain what's going on, what the backstory was, what happened, what's going to happen, you know, because there's so many little details. And at some point I'm just like, okay, okay, show, not tell. Captain Marvel also invokes the acronym Shazam, but the letters in the word stand for completely different things than they do for Black Adam when Shazam is spoken. Even with all of the action, I found myself a little bored at times, which was unexpected. Now, if you don't enjoy superhero movies, you definitely won't enjoy this one. It's filled with cliches and tropes and even a few copycat moments from Marvel. So overall, I enjoyed the movie, but I also thought it was really long and was like, okay, let's get on with this. It kind of felt like we have to slog through this to get on and move forward with some of the other upcoming Marvel movies. Let me give you some tips for parents. There's so much violence, so much destruction, some profanity. Some of the themes that are done well or illustrated well are heroes, family, violence, justice, darkness, power, and fate. So I always share funny lines and interesting lines so that you can kind of get a taste for the flavor of the movie. You can see all of them on my written review at moviereviewmom.com. I'll share a few of them with you right now. Okay, so there's a conversation between Hawkman and Teth Adam or Black Adam. So Hawkman says to Black Adam, in this world, there are heroes and there are villains. Heroes don't kill people. And with a pretty straight face, Black Adam says, well, I do. <laughs> And along the same vein, there's another conversation between the two. Hawkman says, we're here to negotiate your peaceful surrender. And so Black Adam says, I'm not peaceful and I don't surrender. So there's this very violent thread in the movie that can you be a good guy and still be killing everybody and have extreme violence, right? So there's a young boy who's featured in the movie and he befriends Black Adam and in fact helps him develop his new name, Black Adam, and uh, he's teaching him what he needs to do. You know, he needs to come up with a catchphrase and, you know, because that's what we know modern day superheroes to be. And so Black Adam says, catchphrase, then kill. <laughs> I thought that was kind of funny. So there are plenty of interesting lines as well. For example, Adriana, who's played by Sarah Shahi says, sometimes the world doesn't always need a white knight. Sometimes it needs something a little darker. And so I thought that this whole idea between dark and light, good and evil type of superheroes was really interesting. Uh, there is no one who's pure good and pure evil. Uh, we're all a little bit of both. And in fact, I just reviewed the movie, The School for Good and Evil. And so you might check that out because it shows that interplay that uh, what I just talked about, but it also worries me just a tiny bit that it's kind of justifying it's okay to be bad. And that's not exactly the message I want our kids to hear, right? Let me know what you think about that. I have mixed feelings and haven't quite decided. Then another character named Harut says, if we had more heroes, then maybe our freedom wouldn't be a dream because this particular civilization has existed for over 5,000 years and they've been struggling for freedom the whole time and looking for a hero. There's also a message in the movie or a theme that um, do you have to have a real hero or can anybody be a hero? Another interesting line is spoken by Hawkman, again, played by Aldous Hodge. And he says, a bad plan is better than no plan at all. All right. So as I was watching this movie, some movies instantly came to my mind. The first one being Shazam, which shows a very different type of superhero and one that is more playful and funny, almost a little Deadpool-like, not all the profanity, of course, but that Shazam has a different meaning. The next movie is Captain Marvel, and she has a different kind of Shazam and a different style of being a superhero where she has no evil at nor any weaknesses. And that was one of the weaknesses of that movie, I think, is we like our heroes to be a little bit vulnerable and not completely perfect so that we can relate to them and yet still have superpowers and be willing to sacrifice to save others and all of that kind of thing. 
All right. So as you can tell, I have mixed feelings about this movie, but I think it's a good start in this new direction for DC. So we'll see what happens. Let me know what you think. And, and thank you so much for supporting my channel by simply subscribing, liking it, and commenting down below. All of those things help my channel to grow. Thank you so much. Have a fantastic day, and I will catch you in the next one. Bye for now.